Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm making a cute little polka dot dress to fit a four to five year old. To make this dress in this size you will need around one and a half meters of material. I've folded the material in half with the lengths together and then folded it again so we have four folds. Here I'm marking the length of the bodice which is 10 inches and cutting that away from the rest of the material. At the top of the material I'm marking 4.5 inches for shoulder width and 4.5 inches for armhole and boxing it off. For the chest I'm marking 8 inches, this is including seam allowance and the waist is 7.5 which includes a seam allowance as well. I'm just rounding off the armhole and then at the neck the markings are 2.5 inch for width and 2 inches for depth and then you draw your shape. At this point we can cut everything out. Separating the front and the back bodies. I'm taking one bodice and using it to mark the back neckline, and I'm going to put a slit in which will be two inches down and cut that out. So that will be your back bodice, and for the front, I'm just going to deepen it by keeping one and a half inches extra. just deepening that front neck. Here I'm cutting out the skirt so I lay it out folding the material once so there's two folds and then grabbing the top left corner of the material I'm bringing it so the width is touching the length of the material like a triangle. Taking the top bodice you lay it out at the corner of the triangle, making sure you have the same width as the bodice. So we want this measurement. So I'm just marking that and then taking away the bodice. The length and the width of the skirt depends on personal choice, but here I'm making the length 16 inches and marking that all the way round and cutting it out. So now I'm cutting the bias binding from spare material and you will need three strips of binding, one for the neckline and two for the armholes because our dress is sleeveless. The width of the bias strip is approximately one and a half inches. And I'm also cutting the facing that I'm going to use for the black back slit, which is approximately four inches by two and a half inches. So now all the sewing starts. So we take the back bodice and the rectangular piece. We're putting both the right sides together. Then we're going to sew down the slit and up again. Sorry guys, here it was a bit out of focus but all I did was cut the slit open and then turned it inside out. So this rectangular piece is on the inside now. Mm -hmm. 
So as you can see, I've tried to show you that all I did was cut the slit open and turn the fabric inside out so it's on the inside. So I'm just ironing that flat. To finish off the slit, I'm going to just fold over the raw edges and sew them down. After you've sewn them, it's up to you whether you want to do the hemming or just sew it to the bodice. It's totally a personal choice. So we're taking the front and back bodice, putting the right sides together and sewing the shoulder seams about half an inch all the way across. The shoulder seams are done, so now we're going to attach a bias strip to the neckline. We're going to sew it all the way round the front and back neckline, making sure right sides are together and we're going to start off at the back slit using half an inch seam allowance and sewing it all the way round. Once you're done sewing the strip you can cut off the axis and then we're going to make notches all the way around the seam that we've just done. The next step is to do top stitch on top of the bias strip, not on top of the dress. Now the top stitching is done and we're going to finish off the edges by folding the bias binding inwards and then folding it lengthwards twice. So this is how it looks. When we come to the other end of the bias binding, we do the exact same thing. Fold it in and then fold it down twice. So this is how it looks and all we need to do is now iron that flat. The way we've done the neckline, 
we do the exact same for the armholes using the bias binding that we cut beforehand. So as you can see I've done the binding on the armholes and now I'm just cutting off the excess. And now it's time to attach the skirt. Taking one layer of the skirt and keeping right sides together of the bodice and the skirt, they're going to make a half an inch seam allowance all the way across. So one side is done and we're going to do the exact same on the other side. Taking the other layer of the skirt, putting right sides together and using half an inch seam allowance and sewing all the way across. And once you've done those seams, we can put the dress together, right sides facing each other and we're going to sew the side seams and then finish off by sewing the hemline. The last step is to attach the button to the slit in the back. I've used a normal black button and a piece of ribbon to go on the other side for the button to go through. I've used needle and thread to do this step. You can always use a sewing machine to attach the ribbon or the binding on the dress. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you all. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.